All right, we are back in Sardinia at a silver and lead mine. This area is quite famous for the amount of silver it produced. And this mine has got a couple interesting stories in its history, which I'll put in the description below. And the first building we're coming across right now is what's left of the powder magazine. Obviously they would store the explosives separately from the uh, the rest of the mine, the mine buildings and such, because if it goes bang, you don't want to take it out the whole operation. All right, here's a closer look at that powder magazine. And you can see how thick the walls are on what's left of it. Those are thick walls. Quick look inside, you can see there's not much left. Obviously no explosives. And then looking down the canyon here, the, uh, the mine itself is down there. You can see the remains of a couple buildings. And so we'll head down there and check those out. And then all the adits and such are uh, farther down the canyon. I'm following the remains of the road that went down to the mine. And it's actually still in pretty good shape. You can still see the wall along there and such. And I'm stopping here because this may be the best overview we're going to get of the building. Since this looks kind of overgrown down there. That... The remains of that two-story structure there, I believe that was the superintendent's home. And uh, I'm not sure the function or purpose of those other buildings, but I believe that two-story one, or what's left of it, was the, uh, the superintendent's home. And uh, it's a fairly steep canyon. And where we're going is off the side down that way. I was just filming from there a moment ago where that rock wall supporting the road is. And if you look really carefully, you can see the edge of the wall of the powder magazine up there. I've made it down to the first level of ruined buildings here. This is that two-story uh, uh, building I was referencing earlier that I believe was the uh, superintendent's home. And I'm standing in some, uh, standing in the remains of another ruined building here. And there's another one down there which is on the way that we're headed anyway. I was filming up there just a moment ago and uh, here in front of me you can see the levels of the road switch backing down. Remains of a structure there. And these are actually somewhat well preserved behind me here. And looking down this way, those are the remains of a foundry down there. You can see the stack right there and then part of the associated buildings. I'll get across the creek and uh, explore that for you as well. In the meantime, there's a, a trail running down down the side that way and dropping down. And that's where the adits are. So that is where I'll be heading next. And again, at some point, we'll cover that foundry. I made my way down this wash here and I've come across the first adit. There's the, uh, the waste rock pile extending down there. And then here is the adit behind me with uh, an interesting decoration in front. I would guess that's a sheep, especially since we're in Sardinia. Another view of the, uh, the waste rock pile. And it looks like it might have had carts or something, or ore carts, coming out this way. It looks like they dumped some stuff off over there too. But we can check that out later. Just to be sure, for now, here's the first view of the adit. It's all hard rock, which uh, is always nice to see. And I see daylight up ahead, so there must be some sort of gallery up there. And then, directly on my right here, there's something dropping down right away. And up there as well. It's Squeeze down here. Okay, that just dead ends there. And this down here, that just dead ends as well. So that one's quick and easy. And the entrance. And uh, something here. I see a bunch of bones here. Not always what you want to see in a mine. Yeah, it says a sheep. Looks like a job, a sheep's jaw right there. And that stops here, but then it keeps going 
over that way. We'll check that in a minute. And then this is just a, uh, I don't know, maybe a little prospect pit or something right here. So heading over here to check this section. Okay, looks like it starts dropping down. It drops a bit here. And then that's it. It stops here. So I wonder if that sheep fell down here or something and it couldn't get back out. You see the remains of some timbers down there. And there's a little bat in the corner right there. So Heading back around this way. There's a, I just realized that's a big pillar right there. Then we went around. So let's go check out the rest of this gallery. Heading off towards the light that way. Well, this is, uh, dramatic to be sure. Somebody's put some rope in here, which I don't really think is necessary, but I'm not going to complain about it either. You see a big pillar in the middle there, and then they uh, punched all the way out to the surface there, which looks pretty cool. I've got uh, stuff dropping down there. There is stuff Dropping off here. Uh, let's see, you gotta be careful here. Okay, I see a big hole down there. That might be an ore pass or something like that. Especially because that foundry is across the way. There's uh, something here, but I bet there's an easier way to get there than uh, scrambling across this hole here. And that doesn't go anywhere in front of us. So let's back up and uh, see the rest of this. Okay, looks like I can slide down there. And yeah, I really think that's gotta be an ore pass down there. Check it out in a minute. Here's a view of the pillar here. This, uh, this must have been a pretty big vein because, like I said, they followed it all the way to the surface here, and then they kept following it underground to make this, uh, looks like a trench right here. Just see if that, yeah, it doesn't go anywhere there. So they just um, made a big trench right here. They ran along there. And then <laughs> disappears down that black hole there. That doesn't look too steep though, so I, I think I can do that if it doesn't get worse from what I can see right now. Carrying on this way, it looks like there's a fair amount of waste rock piled up here. Another uh, outlet to the outside world up through there. And so we've got stuff going all different directions here. I'm gonna squeeze under. Okay, we got stuff running off in front of me there and there. To the left, goes out to the outside world, and there's a little pit right there. And then that's where we came in, of course. And then there's more stuff running off this way. Let's do this one, the old right hand rule. All right, I just made my way over those rocks there, which uh, is a little tighter than it might look. I had to scramble a bit to get over that. And this cleared out pocket here, I believe just runs into that section that went straight back of that junction below me here. Just uh, clean out a little bit there. Nothing of significance. The, uh, the adit, keep running that way. And behind me here, there is an ore pass, I believe, 
almost certainly an ore passage, drops down to that trench. That's that trench we were checking out. And so, continuing along the drift here, Okay, looks like it keeps going there. There's something on the left and then to the right here. I think this is that section that I looked into, or I should say looked across to a moment ago. Yes, this is exactly that. So a moment ago, I was standing over there where that coil of rope is looking in here and speculating that there must be an easier way to get here than jumping across this trench here. Here's a look down the trench and out that way. And then behind us, we kept going as you saw. Okay, looks like there might have been a stope or something here, but as you can see, we're not getting up in there since that's completely come down. That's collapsed all the way to the top. And going ahead, it looks like that might dead end right there. Hold on. Yeah, that just dead ends right there. So let's go back and pick up at the junction where we came down here to the right. Back at the junction and we just came from exploring down that direction. So behind us here, we've got two options if you'll recall, it actually looks like three. There's something going off that way. That way, it looks like there's another one going off from there. And then this is that little area they cleared out, which runs into the uh, passageway. We just went down there. Just want to make sure there's nothing down here that I'm missing. Okay, it just dead ends right there. So let's go to the right on this. Looks like it might be a collapse right there. This is a dead end right here. I don't know if this was meant as a sump or if uh, they were pursuing something there. And then, yes, as I indicated, this uh, is just a dead end right here. Um, I'm gonna have to go look. That looks like it might go up to something. Hold on, I have to navigate across a bunch of mud here. Hold on. Okay, taking a closer look at this section where all this rock came down, I can see the attic continues back to that crack right there. But so much material has come down here. I think this was a stope or something. So much material has come down here and plugged up the drift that I can't access anything more. You see it's plugged to the very top. And um, like I said, I can see faintly that there's more back there, but I just don't have anybody to get through this uh, pile of rock in front of me, so I'm going to have to head on and uh, go down that section on the left. I see a drill mark right there. This is the section we just came from where we were blocked by that collapse back there, and that left this one here on the left, which just dead ends right here. So, going back to the junction, we've got that view of the outside world on the right. And to get there, I've got to scramble over this. So I'm going to do that and I'll pick up just over there. I just came from there and uh, here's a view of that little pocket. doesn't go anywhere. And behind me, I would imagine there's a nice view out over the canyon. There is. There's a good view of that foundry right there. And uh, I can see the canyon as well. A waterfall down there. See some of the pinnacles here. 
See how rugged this countryside is. And I see waste rock down below. And so I speculated that that was an ore pass back there on a bit. The ore they mined here dropped down there. They took it out there and somehow got it across the river to the uh, foundry there. So let's head back to that gallery and try dropping down that ore pass to see if we can't get to those lower levels. As you can see, I'm back in the gallery and running along the side of this pillar here actually seems like the easiest way down. I'm going to need both hands for that though, so I will scramble down there and rejoin you down there. As you can probably figure out, I was successful in making my way down along the edge there. And I'm now down in that trench. Here's a look down what I believe is the ore pass. And again, it's a little bit steep, but it doesn't look too steep. So I th unless it goes vertical, I think I can uh, make my way down there. Here's a quick view of what's else, what else is down here. See a drill mark right there. And that's looking up the ore pass we looked down a few minutes ago. And just a quick look at what is inside this trench here. And looking up at the, uh, I think it looks pretty cool, that gallery up there. But for now, I'm sure you guys are probably curious what's down the ore pass. This is another one that's going to take both hands. So. I'll make my way down to see how it looks about there, and uh, if I keep going, I will. It was indeed doable. There's a look up to where we dropped down from, and you can see it's a little wet and slippery here, but nothing I can't handle. And I know, famous last words, right? And then dropping down here, it looks like it levels out a little bit down there, so there might be another level down there. I'm going to uh, turn the camera off again to get down this last slippery section here and then I'll rejoin you there. Alright, that's the look up the ore pass I dropped down from and I suppose you could call this a level but it's the uh, the smallest level I've ever seen <laughs> inside of a mine and the ore pass keeps dropping down this way and it doesn't look like it gets any steeper, so I'm going to keep following it down. And I'll probably rejoin you when we get around the bend and uh, see how it looks there. There's pretty good airflow here, so I, I think I might be right about this coming out at the, uh, the bottom where that waste rock pile I looked down on was. Okay, I was up there filming around the bend there a moment ago. And uh, come down to another little level here. Again, a very small level. And this ore pass is interesting in that it seems to sort of corkscrew down uh, through the uh, side of the canyon here. So it comes down here and then bends off in this direction. So like I said, corkscrewing down. And it looks like it goes vertical there, which that could present a problem because there's nothing to anchor rope on in here and a little concerned about being able to keep going that's a rock there I might be able to drop down there oh you know what some wonderful person has placed a ladder here for us I'll bet that is the same kind Italian or Italians that put that rope up there that is fantastic okay I, uh, I'm going to take the ladder down, obviously, and I'll pick up down there. There is the ore pass we followed down, and the ladder I just came down. And as you can see, we're on a new level with a great echo. And we've got stuff running off that way. It looks like it keeps going down there. And. Stuff run off this way. This looks like it's on the same level, so I think I'll do this first before dropping down any more levels. A little bit damper in this one, but not terrible. I don't need the waders or anything. 
but it is noticeably wetter. Might be another junction up here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it just goes off to the left here. It does bend sharply to the left. I'm gonna dance around the mud here. All right, something up here, big room or something. Nope. A junction. So we've got a drift running off that way, and drift running off here. Looks like there's a fork up here. We'll do the right hand rule. See other footprints in here. I'm definitely not the first person in here in a while. And to the right here, there's a dead end with some uh, debris right there. Let's come down. Interesting yellow crystals right here. Pretty cool. And then, okay, there's a drift going off here. It looks like a stope above. Continuing to the right. Oh, this is just a dead end, I believe. Yeah, this is just a dead end. Cool colors. And so going to the right, looks like the remains of a ladder, wooden ladder there. And we've got a big stope right here that runs all the way up there. You can see the remains of some timbers here. I don't remember looking down on anything like that. So that, I bet, connects to uh, behind one of those cave sections that we came across. Interesting. Like I said, it's a pretty big stope here that I cleaned out. And it keeps running this way. These ladders are probably from the miners that we're able to, uh, of course, access, access this uh, section up here one time. Pretty cool. Okay, carrying on. Man, look at those colors. That is wild. Carrying on that way, it just keeps going, so we shall too. Drift going off here. I bet this ties into the, uh, the one we saw to the left. I bet this is the same one. We can check that out in a minute. Continuing on this way. Like I said, definitely muddier down here. up there. Still going. And it would appear we've hit another collapse here. Since the bats are not going up there, I would say that is the end right there. But to be sure, I'll keep going. You can see the uh, the timbers that were smashed down, and that's collapse. You know what? Whoa, that was close. Yeah, okay, it just goes up there and stops. 
There's a little space up there, but not enough to make it worth, worth it for us to go up there. So that's it for that section. So I'll go back and uh, check out the one we passed on the way up to here. This is why you don't take your favorite clothes mine exploring. I thought this mine was dry from the outside. Anyway, this uh, ahead of us here is where we just came from. This is that drift that I, uh, I bypassed on the way up there. And that is back where that big stope was, right there. I am supremely confident that this ties in to where we came in. So I'm going to cruise down this way and expect to confirm that for us. Yeah, this is it. So, when we were coming in, if you recall, I bypassed this one. There's that same arrow. And we went that way. So, let's go back to where I dropped down the ore pass and see what's on the other levels. That is the section that we just explored back that way and here's the ladder I came down final section of the ore pass and now we've got this section to explore yeah this is definitely angling down I'm not sure if you can see that in two dimensions on your screen did drop down down to another level and oh, okay there's daylight there I'll bet I will bet that is that section that we looked down on where the waste rock was we've got something running off this way too so we need to obviously go check that out and I just know it's a wooden peg there above me so let's go check this out. Don't need to bother dodging the mud anymore since I'm covered in mud now. All right, it keeps going straight, obviously. We've got stuff going off to the right. And, okay, this is easy. It's just a dead end on the left. Easy enough. Go check the stuff on the right. Right hand rule. There's a little pocket there. I don't know if that was meant as a sump. It kind of looks like it since it's full of water. It doesn't seem to go anywhere else. And the wind whipping through here is making some weird sounds. There's one of those uh, interesting mine creations. Alright, lots of bat activity up here. You can hear them fluttering around. Ah, uh, yeah. There's a whole bunch of bats back there. I don't want to disturb them anymore, so I'm not going to get closer. But, uh, that's pretty cool. A lot of bats in Italian mines. Okay, better look at that, uh, Strange formation, and that leaves this section going up to the right, that way. See bats back there too. That might be a dead end right there, I can't tell yet though. More stuff for the rockheads. I've gotten complaints that I don't focus enough on the geology, so I'm endeavoring to make up for that by showing interesting rocks and features and that kind of thing, but without overdoing it.
Can't tell if that goes to the right or not. I'd say that's it. Yeah, this is the end of this section. So there's a look back to what I think leaves that waste rock pile I saw from above. So we'll go confirm that. Okay, that's the section where we just went to the dead end. And this is where the ore pass the ladder is. We came down from that way. And so, just have this short little section here left to confirm this is what we think it is. Uh, so maybe something on the left. Ah, just a little pocket. your knees. And I'm not wearing waders, so that's kind of a drag. See some boards here. And back out in the daylight. Look, there's some more modern uh, mining equipment here, possibly. And yes, this is that lower waste rock pile. You can see it all through here and then uh, of course the cliffs behind us there and then looking up above there is that foundry right there that we were observing earlier